So, we have another Warner Bros. Montreal game rumour, and it's to do with Wonder Woman. Now, I'm going to go over why I think this might be fake at the end, so let me just run through the rumour details. So, the game will be revealed at the Video Game Awards with an in-game cinematic trailer, and will have an IGN exclusive gameplay reveal shortly after. The game takes place in modern times at the peak of Wonder Woman's heroic duties, and there will be two maps, Themyscira and Gateway City. The game is completely open world, with portals that transport you between the different worlds, no loading screens, and these are two separate maps in which you can travel to at any given time, and each has its own side missions and secrets. The game is an action RPG game. Okay. So the story revolves around one woman attempting to stop Cersei, I think that's the correct pronunciation, I'm sorry if it's not, from being set free from Hades and breaking the source wall to rewrite history. The history of the Amazons and Cersei have been slightly reworked in the narrative. Cersei is a cult that is helping her achieve her goals both in Gateway and the Mascara. There is a multitude of villains slash boss fights in the game, some of which aren't directly tied to Wonder Woman. Here's who he knows are villains based on trailer and gameplay reveal. Cersei, Hercules, Doctor Poison, the Furries? What? Or is that the Furies? No, I think it's the Furies. Whoops. Possibly Brother Blood, another guess apparently, and Killer Frost, the boss fight teased in the gameplay reveal. So Killer Frost actually sounds pretty cool. So the gameplay is similar to the Arkham games, but has been revamped to fit the genre and Wonder Woman. The closest approximation is the new Assassin's Creed combat formula with Arkham's flow. They implemented a combo system, you have three kinds of different attacks, fast, medium, which is the last of combos, and hard. Stringing these different attacks together gives you a combo. In addition to this, you also have a jump button which, if you hold, will allow Wonder Woman to fly. They wanted the flying to give you a versal and adrenaline reaction. Think Spider-Man's swinging in the PS4 game. Another feature is to combat block, or... to com So another feature to combat is blocking, sorry. So you'll be able to block attacks, in which I think is what the thing is trying to get across. So the combat trees, there are three trees, Lasso Sword and Shield and Gauntlets. You have two combat stances, the regular which is the Gauntlet Fists and the short Sword and Shield. You can change stances in the middle of combat. You can unlock different weapon archetype slash stances later in the game as Bow and Arrow is shown in the gameplay reveal. You can unlock and find new gear for Wonder Woman, shown in the trailer as default classic and more Greek looking outfit with long braid and a jacket variation. And most environments are destructible. So, let me go over what I think is makes this game fake. So, first of all, it's a 4chan post. Yeah, it's a 4chan post, meaning it's probably going to be fake. 100% it's going to be fake in my opinion. And also, they say it's going to be revealed at the Game Awards. Remember, Warner Bros. Montreal have already confirmed they're not going to be at the Game Awards. Okay? So, that's another thing that proves it's not real. And the other thing that kind of confused me was, it's going to be an action RPG. If they have tailored one of these, it's going to be a single player game. So they've, they, if they have tailored the player to play it as Wonder Woman throughout the game, then why is it going to be an RPG? Does it mean that you can customize your costume at the beginning? Because it says that you're going to be able to get new unlockables for your costumes throughout the game. So it's not really an RPG at the start, is it? That, that's kind of confusing me. Apart from this, or those things that I just mentioned, it does seem like it could be real. I mean, this isn't completely deconfirming the new Arkham game. That tweet that was sent out a couple of days ago by the developer 100% confirms a new Arkham game is in the works, in my opinion. But this... I'm a bit sketchy on this. Um, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Just a quick update video for you. Don't worry, I think the Arkham game is still happening. But if this is happening... I don't know, this seems seems alright actually. I like the inclusion of Killer Frost. That would be pretty cool. See you guys in the next one. Like if you did enjoy the video and please consider subscribing. See you guys in the next one. Bye!